what you're doing and look at your screen. This is the most adorable thing you'll see today. Oh, yeah, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Talia Vanicola lights up when Hunter walks her way. Uh. The golden retriever is a bright spot for the little girl diagnosed with leukemia, going through her second round of chemo treatments. The joy that she's been able to have, it makes this day so much easier. Talia's mother, Nicole, is thankful Children's Mercy Hospital has a service dog on staff, comforting her daughter and other kids on the fourth floor with help from his handler. Sometimes there are times I leave a room and I'm like, I don't know if it, if it mattered or not. And then later I hear from the parents that that's the first time that they smiled that day or that's the first time they talked today. Hunter received special training in Atlanta, Georgia and was specifically chosen for this position at Children's Mercy. Hunter makes the rounds wearing a special vest five days a week, visiting as many as 10 patients a day. We have kids report less nausea, less pain, um, just overall feeling better emotionally. So he helps in physical and emotional ways for patients and their families. Hunter's claim to fame, so to speak, crawling in bed and snuggling up. Even when times get tough, Hunter is there. There have been times we've um, been in a room um, close to the end of life and he's just laying on the bed next to the patient and afterwards he's very tired. It's very emotionally exhausting for these dogs to do things like that. So whether it's just playing or something a little bit more stressful, he definitely is tired at the end of his day. Tired, especially after playing with little Talia. Good news for her, doctors believe her treatments are working and she'll be in remission soon. Until then, at least one more round of chemo with Hunter by her side. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Yeah, and it'll help you get reacclimated again to something that isn't really always that fun. Yes. Carrie Stoll, Fox 4 News.